All right. Uh, we're also going to look at um, continuously compounded interest and uh, how I know when to use the compound interest formula in the continuously compounded interest formula is when I see that magic word continuously. Uh, what we're going to look at here is how do I find the amount and how do I find the principal using uh, the uh, continuously compounded interest formula. Okay, So the amount is equal to principal e to the rt. Remember, E is the base of natural log. That's Euler's number, and you got an Euler's button on your calculator. Uh, usually, you have to hit second and then the LN button to get to it. Okay, So this right here, that's solved for A. You just plug in what, what you know, so you'll need to know the principle, the rate, and the time. That will be given to you in the problem. Okay, The other uh, scenario is, well, they want you to solve for the principle. So you have A is equal to principle E to the RT. So they'll tell you what the amount is, they'll tell you what the rate is, they'll tell you what the time is. Okay, So you know those things, you just need to find what the principal is. Um, and uh, the P and the E to the RT, they're attached by multiplication. So to undo that, we'll just divide both sides by um, E to the RT. Okay, So your amount is equal o over E to the RT, and that's going to be your principal. And you know, that'd be like our present value, kind of like with the compounded interest. Okay, so let's let's take a look. <clears throat> so we will write down that problem very fast. If you need to pause the video, you can. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they say find the amount in an account compounded continuously at five percent in three years with a deposit of seven hundred. So I see the magic word continuously. So that means I'm going to use my PERT equation: amount equals principal e to the rt. Okay, just like with the compounded interest, I'm going to go ahead and write down uh, my letters, and then I'm going to uh, try to figure out what I know and then what I don't know, and also the question should kind of tip tip me off. So they do say find the amount, so that means I'm probably not going to know what the amount is. If you want to pause the video to try to fill it out, fill out those those letters, go ahead and do that. Okay, remember your T is time in years, and they give you three years. Uh, the interest rate is always as a decimal, so 0 0.05. And the principal is your initial deposit or your starting deposit or what, what you're loaned, um, and that's 700. And uh, we don't know what the amount is, so we're just going to plug all that stuff right in, plug and chug. And then uh, I will write it also here for you how, how it looks like if you're going to put in your calculator. Okay, so it's going to be 700. Then you'll probably have to set second LN uh, for that E. And most most calculators, it's going to give you a caret. Sometimes you have a little bit of fancier calculator, like those new TI-84s that are color. They'll give you a little box, and then you just put all this junk in that box right there, and it'll do it just not fine for you. Um, okay, so doing all that, you get your amount is about uh, $813.28, so. That's our amount. That's what we have after three years. All right. Now let's do an example where we're uh, trying to find the, the uh, principal. So we'll go ahead and uh, write this fastly. Blah blah blah. Put down our our formula. Okay. And so it says, and if you need to pause the video to write it down, you can go ahead and do that. It says find the principal. Uh, I can't read my handwriting with this thing over here. All right. Find the principal required to have an amount of 2500 in three years compounded continuously at 5%. Okay, so here they're asking us for the principal, and then they use the magic word continuously, which says that we're going to use PERT. <clears throat> um, so, uh, we're going to go ahead and write down our letters, the A, the P, the R, and the T. And if you want to pause the video to go ahead and see if you can fill those out, go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, again, <clears throat> time is in years, so they give us three years. The rate is 0.05, um, and they asked us for the principal this time. Sometimes they'll ask us, what do we need to deposit and uh, to, to get a final amount of, of 2500 so you just got to be careful when you read it. Um, so our final amount is going to be 2500 Okay, so we're going to plug all that stuff in, and... Um, So we're going to know what e to the 0.05 times 3 is 
and we're going to have to plug it into our calculator. Um, and it's going to be multiplied by the P, so we're going to divide by it. We're going to divide both sides by that, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like in the calculator. So it's going to be 2,500 divided by and the E caret 0 0.05 times 3, and that's going to be approximately 21.51 and 77 cents. So that's how much I'm going to need to deposit now so that three years from now I'll have 2,500 in my bank account. All right.